Craig Baldwin and welcome to the Cycle Clinic video series by V-Bike. Um, today I want to talk about bike geometry and the basics of bike geometry. So if you're buying a new bike or looking at getting a, an upgrade on an existing bike, this will definitely help you. The basics of the bike geometry. Okay, so you've got top tube here. There's a head tube. This is known as the seat tube. And you've also got the seat tube angle. This is the angle the seat tube sits at, and the same with the head tube, known as the head angle. Now, most manufacturers actually measure this one here, the seat tube, as industry standard. Now, that'll be a general 50 or 52 centimeter frame. Um, I tend to disregard this measurement a little bit. I mean, the top tube here and the head tube are far more important to gauge an accurate frame size. So this one here, the seat tube, what most companies measure, you're going to find that if that's shorter, it just means there's going to be more seat posts um, exposed. If it's longer, uh, less seat posts exposed. Stand over height can come into it, but it has to be extremely long to really affect most people. The one you really want to look at is your top tube and head tube. These are the two that are really going to determine your position on the bike. So if you've got a longer top tube and a shorter head tube, your position is going to be fairly stretched out. Um, you can get pain in the shoulders, pain in the triceps, you know, things like that. You know, especially you can also get numb hands from this. So if you're an older guy, uh, want a bit more of a relaxed ride, you probably want to look more into more of an endurance style frame. So a shorter top tube, and a longer head tube, it's gonna give you a more relaxed um, setup. Alternatively, if you're a, a young guy, wanna be uh, nice and fast, win some races, depending on your, your body type, your body geometry itself, you may want a longer top tube, possibly a shorter head tube. Ideal stem length, 90 mil to 110. Seat post around 190 to 225 exposed is perfect. Overall reach is measured from seat to hoods, not just to center stem. This is a much more accurate measurement and allows us to get your contact points pinpointed perfectly. Mm -hmm. 